hi everyone once again welcome to the another course so today in this short course i'll teach you that how you can authenticate the multiple roles in the laravel so first i will show you the simpler way how you can authenticate the multiple roles and then i'll show you the complex way if you have multiple roles and each role have uh, want to access the other role access so for example uh, you have two types of role like supervisor role and an administrator role right so now administrator want to access the supervisor routes so how you can give the access to the administrator that he can access the supervisor route so this is our short series so you can follow this and learn that how you can authenticate the multiple roles uh, but do not uh, create the multiple uh, multiple tables to handle those role so this is very simple so watch this course and i'm going to uh, do it from the scratch so i have installed a fresh installation of laravel so before this uh, this is my youtube channel career development lab and uh, i have already shooted the uh, courses on laravel and also shooted this on the multiple role authentication so this one is a full course i have shooted that how you can authenticate the two types of role in the laravel and uh, then i have uh, another this one video which is where i'm telling you that how you can authenticate the multiple roles in the laravel for example we have five types of role and i'm authenticating the five types of role uh, in this one video so you can get an idea that how you can authenticate this but student requested that uh, sir please shoot the video on laravel 10 so i'm shooting this in the laravel 10 right now and uh, you can implement it any of the laravel gen like uh, uh, you can implement it 8 9 10 or 11 if it uh, again available okay uh, so i have installed a fresh installation of uh, laravel right and i'm going to uh, I have created a database where I'm going to give it a start from here and I have opened this application into my VS code. So I'm going to connect this application with my database and I'm going to start my process to build this application. So I have just created the database name, click on this new and created the database. So now I'm going to connect this application with the database. So let's get started. So I'm going to name this. So uh, now here uh, whatever database i have created okay just paste it here save this one and now i'm going to connect my application with the database uh, it's connected but i'm going to migrate my table so php artisan migrate okay it's migrated and we have a few basic tables we have a user table and uh, we have uh, this simple application right so now i'm going to install a starter kit right to uh, i'm going to install the starter kit to build the first to implement the login register and reset these functionalities and then i'm going to move further how we can authenticate the multiple roles so the starter kit i'm going to use is um, um, breeze in uh, my previous lessons i mostly uh, use laravel ui right and i'm going to now going to the other starter kit which are more popular like uh, uh, laravel breeze right so it's uh, totally depend upon your scenario that if you want to install this into the uh, blades so this breeze is fine for you if you want to use the bo uh, bootstrap so then laravel ui is perfect for you right so it's totally depend upon your scenario so i'm uh, in this case i'm going to use uh, laravel breeze so now let's understand that how we need to install the laravel breeze so this one is a simple command right just go here and paste this out let me first clear this okay and then paste this command and hit enter let me make this to the top so it will not affect uh, by my camera okay and uh, it's installing and after this we need to uh, install this like this and then we will uh, run those commands and things so just go here and check that it's going to yeah it's doing it and let's wait for a moment to complete this process yes it's generating the files about this package is uh, laravel breeze is uh, a composer we pulled this from the composer and now time is to to install this php artisan breeze install 
uh, now it's asking that uh, what you want to install so i want to install this blade with alpine right so you can type blade live wire or something like this i'm going to use this blade so here i'm typing this blade so would you like dark mode you can say yes or no i want to say yes i want to use a dark mode okay which php framework you want to use or prefer to use um, you can skip this or you can enter the zero or one based upon your uh, your testing framework okay it's installing and building the node dependencies so here you need to migrate your database again okay so let's go here and i'm going to migrate this nothing to migrate okay let's uh, exit this from here i'm going to go back from this terminal okay then you need to install the npm run dev it's taking time so let me split this panel and i'm going to do it here npm install right so this will install the npm you know that this one is a very basic step okay okay it's so uh, no directory found and these things what's throwing it here we'll do now we'll fix this in a minute now what this one is completed okay so uh, let's wait for a moment to complete this process yes it's one this one is completed and i'm going to run this npm run dev okay and uh, it's going to yeah this one is now compiling them on the run time right so you can run the npm run build to build those uh, assets right but I'm going to do this. Yes, I want to terminate this and I want to build this npm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. npm run build and this will uh, compile our files. Oh my god, I misspell it. Let me spell it correctly. So it's now going to compile those files and add them into my public uh, slash build directory. And yes, it's added. So if I now go ahead and give it a refresh. So here I have got the login and register and yes, these are working fine. If I visit the register, uh, okay, perfectly, it's working fine. So why this one is throwing the error, maybe it's so uh, we haven't installed the login, but we haven't executed any command. So why it's throwing error? I think it's uh, detecting that we don't have any um, uh, node module so that's why it's doing this so we install this from the separate uh, separate this terminal and we install the node uh, npm dependency right so now our starter kit is installed and our next step is to register our user and log in this user and then we will authenticate those user so thank you so much for watching the video and uh, i'll meet you in the next one bye bye